Today we're at the El Paso Art Association visiting Crossland Gallery. Before we go into the gallery, this exhibition is called On the Map, El Paso and Beyond. There are many paintings which use acrylic, oil, mixed paintings, and digital media. Let's begin our artistic journey. Stepping into the gallery, we notice a variety of paintings. This is a very large gallery with also a connecting room. This is a glimpse of the artist's work. There is a variety of canvas paintings and sculptures in this gallery. I am very impressed on all the bright and beautiful artwork on display painting that we're looking at is by Robert Dozal and it is an acrylic on canvas. What I feel with this painting is very calming combined with being with nature, meditating. I'm very intrigued by this abstract painting by John W. Mackenzie. It is acrylic, as you can tell, very vivid colors. The building is very abstract. The next artwork we'll be viewing is by Ramiro Ordones. And it is acrylic mix, which is a poor dog waiting for his return. Doesn't it look realistic? His lonely eyes, if you can tell, zoom in a little. His lonely eyes waiting for his owner. As you can tell, most of the paintings I do enjoy are mainly acrylic on canvas. The first painting we viewed is from Robert Dozal. He is a multimedia award-winning artist. This is a realistic style painting with acrylic on canvas. This implied 2D painting has a middle gray value. The intensity ranges from both high and low. John W. Mackenzie painted this abstract acrylic old church. He used high intensity I love this painting because of all the bright and bold hues. Lastly, Ramiro Ordones, acrylic mix painting in which he called Waiting for His Return. I enjoyed the hatching in this painting. My overall experience at the Crossland Gallery was amazing. I enjoyed to see the variety of artists and their different types of artwork.